Welcome to your English lessons again. Today, we are going to have a grammar lesson. Today's lesson is going to be about relative pronouns. Good. Look at the picture. What do you think the two students are talking about? Now, listen and read the dialogue below to answer the following questions. Number one, who is Natalie? Number two, What's Davidson's? Are the questions clear? Good. Now, listen to the dialogue. I saw Natalie the other day. Natalie? The girl who plays the piano? No. The girl who dropped out of school. She's working in Davidson's now. Davidson's? Yeah, the shop which sells household appliances. Right. Now, take some minutes and try to answer the questions. Good. Have you finished? Let's have a look at the right answers. Number one. Natalie is the girl who dropped out of school. Do you have the right answer? Very good. Number two. David Sons is the store which sells household appliances. Do you have the right answer again? Great, all of you. Okay, now let's move to the next step. Read your answers again. What do you notice? Natalie is the girl who dropped out of school. Davidson's is the store which sells household appliances. Right. What can you notice? Yes, some words are written in a different color. Yes, who, which. What do you think these words are? What do you think their function in the text is? Great. They are relative pronouns. Who? Whom? Which? Whose? When? And where are relative adverbs? Right. What can you say about who, the relative pronoun? Great. Who is used to refer to a person? What about whom? That's right. Whom to is used to refer to a person. But there is a difference between whom and who. Can you guess? Yes. Who is used for subjects? 
but whom is used for objects. Right. What about which? Look at the picture. Which is used to refer to objects. Pens, a book, an apple, and also to animals, a dog. Good. What about whose? Look at the keys. Are these your keys? Whose keys are they then? Yes, they are your grandmother's. Excellent. Now look at when the relative adverb, what do you think it stands for? Absolutely. When stands for the time an action takes place. How about where? That's right. Where refers to a place. Good. Now let's do an exercise. What do the relative pronouns or adverbs stand for in the following sentences? Look at number one. John is the man who stole my money. What do you think who stands for in the sentence? Who? Great. Who stands for the man? Look at number two. Adam is the man whom I love. Look at the relative pronoun. Whom? What do you think it refers to? Great. It refers to the man again. But there is a difference there. The man in sentence number one is the subject. So who is a subject pronoun? The man in sentence number two is an object. So whom is an object pronoun? Is that clear? Nice. Let's look at sentence number three. Cats are animals which chase rats. Which? What do you think which stands for? Animals. Fantastic. Great. Now look at number four. Hanan is the girl whose bag is pink. Where is the relative pronoun in the sentence? Whose, definitely. What do you think it stands for? The girl. Exactly. Now let's look at number five. Summer is a season when I have fun. Where is the relative adverb here? Yes. When? What do you think it refers to? It refers to a season. Great. The last sentence, Agadir, is the city where I live. Where is the relative adverb? Where? Great. Where? Here refers to the city. Very good. What do you notice again? Look, who, whom, which, whose, when, where. Where do they come in the sentence? What's the position 
of the relative uh, pronoun and adverb in the sentence. That's right. The relative pronouns and relative adverbs come immediately after the words they replace, that is, the words they stand for in the sentence. Note that is also a relative pronoun. It can sometimes be used instead of who, whom, and which. So, we can say, John is the man that stole my money. Cats are animals that chase rats. Is that clear? Right. Let's do another exercise for more practice. Match the words in A to the definitions in B. Policeman. Pen. Birthday. Mobile. Bedroom. A princess. Have a look at the definitions. A room where you can sleep. A person who arrests criminals. A machine that we use to call friends. A day when you celebrate your birth. A girl whose father is a king. A tool which we use to write. Good. What do you think is the definition for the term policeman? That's nice. A person who arrests criminals. What about pen? Great. A tool which we use to write. What about a birthday? A day when you celebrate your birth. Exactly. What about mobile? A machine that we use to call friends. Number five now. Bedroom. Yes. A room where you can sleep. The last one, princess. Exactly. A girl whose father is a king. To finish, let's do an exercise. Fill in the gaps with an appropriate relative pronoun or adverb. Number one, I prefer dogs, don't bark a lot. Great, which? Number two, the restaurant we had dinner was near the cinema. Where? Great. Number three, I met Ahmed, his father works as a teacher. Whose? That's great. Four. I don't like stories have unhappy endings. Which? Definitely. Number five. That's the woman I called a few minutes ago. Whom? Very good. Number six. My brother works in Paris, has arrived home today. Who? Good. Seven. First of May is a day people celebrate workers. When? Exactly. Number eight. Let's find the store. We can buy chips, soda, and candy. Where? Exactly. That's 
that's great, 